So here we are for the dawn at North Kilworth Wharf. So we're the bricks today. Going through the pile of bricks. Uh, going to load them up into this trailer now. Yeah, another fun day at the wharf. And we're back in the boat. Take a look at all of this. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and tidy all this up. Uh, the rest of it isn't too bad. So yeah, it's all pretty good. Just for the most part, pull this off, but we'll cut it all back with a knife, tidy it all up. And um, we'll see what else we can do today. I'm probably thinking of just cleaning up the windows. I haven't got a lot in mind. Yeah, so we'll just tidy everything up. Wicked. So I figured while I'm here, I'll just clean up some of these windows with the masking tape. So what I've been using is a razor blade and some lighter fluid. So I've just been soaking the masking tape. I mean, this is it's rock hard. So I've just been soaking it in some lighter fluid and using the razor blade to scrape it off. The lighter fluid counteracts the glue. So just let it soak a little bit. Take a razor. You get the technique down, it's not too bad. I to be careful of all the lighter fluid, I wouldn't smoke or anything around this. And if you do it right, if you do it nice and flat, don't put pressure on the edges, you shouldn't scratch the glass. Now, doing it on the painted sides of the windows on the outside is a different story, so we'll see what happens when that happens when it's time to do that. There we go. Of an odd day on the boat and I decided to stick the cladding on the upper wall to see what it looked like white. Uh, it's only put up with uh, small pins so it'll just come down quite easy. I decided to put the reverse it and put the wood side showing on the lower box to on the lower part of the battening to see what it looks like with the wood. Um, so I'm still not sure yet really uh, what I'm gonna do. Well today on my trip to the boat I've been cleaning off the masking tape from the windows it has been an utter nightmare. I've been using some lighter fluid, razor blades, and cut down credit cards, or credit cards, bank cards, you know, gift cards, anything like that with a plastic edge. It is an utter nightmare. I managed to get two done already, and I'll go around the edges with some silicon just to seal them up and tid tidy them up before I go. Yeah, looking a lot better, a lot better. So here we are, late February, North Kilworth Wharf. It's a lovely calm, it's a nice day, it's still a bit cold for the overnights, so I'm not doing overnights, just day trips in just to do bits and pieces. But yeah, lovely morning here at the wharf, 
came to check up the boat after the storms we had last week, make sure everything's cool. Everything seems okay, but it is lovely here this morning. You can really feel the start of spring coming on. So the plan today is to clean up some of these windows and uh, get the last of the tape off and seal them around the edge. I've already done a couple last week uh, down this side. They look fantastic. All cleaned up with the black paint. So yeah, it's pretty good. Everything looks like it's held up pretty well. I mean, here's uh, paint. So this will, you know, we'll sand all this down as the summer comes up and we do the paint on the front of the boat. But yeah, they look a lot better. But yeah, wicked. With it. We've not really a lot in mind to do today. I've just really rearranged the boat a little bit, sorting through some of the tools, taking on some bits home that are starting to clutter up the place, getting ready really for the next season of work. So I'll go through the rest of this. Also while I'm here I've been thinking about layout, lights, where I'm running the electrical. It's a little easier for me to be able to be in the boat to visualise where things are going to go. Like I was wondering for the ceilings, do I put six lights in each room, do I put four lights in each room? I'm starting to think I'll do a light in this bay either side, so two here, two here for the bedroom. This is where the galley's going to be with a bit extended out here. I did do a mock-up layout, I'll insert a little bit of that now. I mocked up a galley of the size that it was going to be opposite the hatch. So it's two foot, it's four foot deep, two foot wide on each of the sides. There's a two foot nine gap in the middle here to coincide with the hatch and then uh, I think a light here over the kitchen, a light here over the kitchen, uh, maybe pair them either side so that's eight and as we come through maybe one either side of the hatch here then I'll fire here maybe one here so five lights in this section four in the bathroom one for the shower one for the toilet two for this side and probably another four over here so four eight um, 13, 17, 21 lights, I think. But we'll have a look. So I'm just going to keep tidying up and changing up my layouts, setting everything up like we do in the electrics in the bedroom here. Probably take this cladding off the wall. Yeah, playing about. Ah, oh, that's loads better. Everything nice and tidy, everything put away. Um, yeah. Pretty good. I've rebuilt this, uh, made it a bit wider both drawers uh, back in that's actually the space that we would have I've tried to lay things out as it will be in my layout so there's a six foot bed coming up to the edge of the window this cladding is pretty much the, the end of the bedroom that I've envisioned and I just want to see actually how much storage there was at the end here so that's a three foot space it's not bad it's not bad I can work with that I can absolutely work with that so this I've moved the workbench as it represents the galley. It's a little bit long, so we take four inches off the end here. And then this is the galley. It'd be a U-shaped galley opposite the hatch. Uh, just here in my plan is, is the basic idea. So there's some storage, the bed with a bedroom door, the U-shaped galley opposite the hatch, couch under the hatch on the other side with this blank wall here for a television. These little bits here are radiators, by the way, just going down the boat. And over here we've got a stove, hopefully far enough away from the window. I'll have to check that on the BSS. Now I'm thinking of shrinking the bathroom uh, by maybe a foot to five foot wide. We'll have to see how that goes when we start buying bits and pieces to fit in. And then I was thinking of a kind of a steps around the back of a couch, down around the side with the electric cupboard at the top, and then the uh, guest couch pull-out bed uh, at the end there that also acts as a social area for when you're out on the boat. So... I've tried to mark this out as best as I can for the size it's going to be. So this, if we take off, you know, four and a half inches off the end, is seven feet long. And then you can get, you know, two feet, it would be coming out this way as a square. And the same on this side with, the, you know, the fridge or the oven or anything inside it with a sink in the middle here. Uh, so that's the plan. People say, oh, don't, aren't you, you know, washing up against the wall? I'm like, well, how often do you do washing up when you, you know, like to be cooking and lean against the counter here looking at the hatch leaning out the hatch yeah I'd rather have that than the hatch on the other side of the wall where I'm washing up because that's just a useless waste of space to me uh, then out of here this will you know come out to about here then we have a u-shaped couch 
moving down the length of here under the hatch. Probably, if we can, we could probably make it seven foot up to the window here uh, underneath, but that's the plan. Then we come to the bathroom block. Uh, tell you what, I'll model it all out with bits that are in the boat. I'll be back in. Okay, and like half an hour later, this is a rough mock up of what I'm thinking as you go through the boat. So I've pulled the bed out to simulate it being the four foot wide double. So you come through into a U shaped galley. Um, these are just you know bits of scrap wood I've got clamped on. That one happens to be two foot wide. This one is you know a little bit short, but taking into account the edge of the table. So yeah, so that'd be my galley. Like kind of cooking uh, with a wall here, obviously. So and this is open plan into the living area, but with the hatch across, so that's quite good. Into here is a U-shaped bench seat slash couch as uh, symbolised by the chair and the bench seat coming underneath this hatch. The bin here represents the fire. Hopefully it's not too close to the window and we can get it out of the roof nice and happy. Uh, these bits of wood, the mic stand represents a shower and a chair the toilet and then the walls that would accompany them with a partition wall. So the idea here is that this one is doored off and it opens into a jam here. And this one is doored off and opens into a jam here. So when both doors are open, you've got almost an open plan bathroom. This represents the sink as you come through here. This is gonna be a couch as well, represented by these um, risers. I don't know what you call these. Uh, and then you come like steps up the side and out with the electrics covered here. So that was the plan, but uh, let me know what you think. Um, still not 100%, but I quite like it. It seems to be the best use of the hatches. I mean, ideally I'd want a bathroom after the bedroom, but where the hatch is, it's a little tricky. So if you think of it as five rooms, it's a 42 foot boat. If you think of it as five, eight foot rooms, there's some give and take, like the both this bathroom's five foot laid out as it is. But it means that rooms one, uh, it only means that I can only use room number two as a bathroom, because this has got the main entrance. Room two, room three here has this hatch. Room four has this hatch. Room five has the outer doors. So, and with the way the hatches are, I'm really quite limited to where I can put a bathroom. But that's the best thing I can think of so far. Let me know what you think another shot of that there it is in pictorial form so you come down the steps uh, with a couch at the back come into the bathroom uh, with a fireplace uh, into the living living area open plan into the galley with a bulkhead door uh, wall into the bedroom well the sun's starting to get low I've done a lot of measuring a lot of uh, checking bits and pieces out. I'm getting to quite like the layout. I've moved these back to exactly four foot in so there's enough space to kind of come past. I like the feel of it. I like the space um, down here. I think that's pretty good. I like the bed here. I like the, the kitchen there. The open plan feels pretty big. I mean, it'd be from this, this will be a wall here. All the way to uh, the other side of the bin here, which represents the fire. So all the way to this here, vessel will be open so it encapsulates both of the hatches so you get nice light open plan, open plan living space. And some people will be questioning this bit at the bottom here but to me this is um, a social area for when you're driving a boat. It means people can just run in if the weather's bad, you've got people with you but you don't want to be at the other end of the boat. You know you can keep your drinks and your lunch and stuff in here. Um, also this acts as a area to get out of wet clothes to put down washing washing to put down shopping uh, and you come through the bathroom area so you can get cleaned up before you come into the main body of the boat so it means just not trudging muddy boots straight into the, the main living room it gives you like an area just to you know just to put your shopping down put your bike keep your tools stuff like that that's not in the main part of the boat uh, but it's also not outside as well so sorted out all of the spare wood, thrown out a couple of the random bits that have been left over like the old window hatches, cleaned everything up. Uh, it's starting to feel like spring, I'm starting to you know get itching to get going. Decided I'm probably going to ply line the bottom walls just for speed. Uh, I've brought a couple of bits of electrical cable, you know I really still haven't looked into that as much as I should. 
I was starting to get my head around the bits that I've seen. So now I'm just starting to think about my needs, what I want in the boat. But yeah, it's. Uh, I can feel the summer coming, so I'm getting quite excited again. And that'll do it for another day at North Kilworth Wharf, I think. It's lovely here. Really starting to feel like springs upon us. Yeah, well, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good time out there. Yeah, catch you in a bit.